the latest PowerHA now provides simplified and much more automated deployment. Let's take a look at configuring PowerHA with geographic mirroring. First, we're going to create a cluster, specifying a name, the nodes, and their IP addresses. As part of this command, PowerHA creates and starts the cluster, as well as enables the sharing of independent ASPs between nodes. Next, we're going to create an administrative domain. All we have to do is give it a name, PowerHA automatically creates it, starts it, and configures recommended policies for automating the management of it. We then add resources using the add CAD MRE command. Here, we're adding all existing user profiles. These profiles will be created on our other nodes in the admin domain. Once this initial populating is done, PowerHA can automatically add new profiles to the admin domain so that users and passwords are synchronized across the cluster, ensuring you are always ready for a switchover. In addition to user profiles, we can add authorization lists in the same way. And we could continue to do so with other security and configuration related resources as well. Once we have our administrative domain created and populated, we're gonna configure our independent auxiliary storage pool by giving it a name and selecting the disk units on our system that will be used for it. As part of this, the system will initialize and format these disk units, making them ready for use. The IASP is where your critical business data will go, and it is what PowerHA replicates. To enable our independent ASP to be switched to another node, we now create a cluster resource group, or CRG. We give it a name, then we specify the nodes, the role the node currently has, the physical location of the nodes, in this case I have one in Minnesota and another in Iowa, and what IP interfaces geographic mirroring uses for the replication. We also specify what independent auxiliary storage pool is managed as part of this CRG. Next, we configure geographic mirroring, specifying the independent ASP, and then we give a name to a session which we'll use to manage the replication. And then we specify whether we want it to be synchronous or asynchronous, and then select the disk units that will be used on the target copy. Geographic mirroring does not require the disk units to be the same size on the source and target system since it is storage agnostic and works with both internal and external storage. This process will initialize and format these non-configured units creating the target copy of the independent ASP. Now that geographic mirroring is configured, we need to start the cluster resource group to start PowerHA's resiliency for the device. We're now ready to bring the independent ASP online using the very configuration command. This initial varion of the independent ASP will finish constructing the independent ASP, creating and populating system libraries, making it ready and available for use. Once our independent ASP is online, we will now start our replication using the session we created and saying change ASP session, resume. We can then take a look at our replication using the display ASP session command, and we see that our replication is currently active. I now have a PowerHA environment that is ready to switch. As we compare this deployment of PowerHA compared to what was previously required, I would have needed these 24 commands to do what we showed today. Over half of these commands have been eliminated, leaving us with just 10 commands required. On top of that, of these remaining commands, several parameters have been eliminated as well, further simplifying the remaining commands. When we put this all together, it is now easier than ever to set up a new geographic mirroring environment within PowerHA. This is all made possible by our core focus at Help Systems, security and automation solutions, with a complete family of integrated enterprise class solutions for IBMI, from HA to automation to BI, along with solutions for all platforms across your enterprise, including Windows, Unix, Linux, and supporting infrastructure that is on-prem, in the cloud, and hybrid cloud environments. Let us help you build a better IT.